Why does everyone hate Taylor Swift so much? I don't mean her fans, the Swifties obviously. I mean the rest of planet Earth, which seems to delight in mocking and abusing the woman at every opportunity. This withering crescendo has soared to record high levels in the past few weeks, culminating in a viral Twitter storm responding to one fan's question. Name of Abba B asterisk TCH than Taylor Swift. Apostrophe she didn't mean a more awful woman. The reaction was fast and ferociously furious, with 99% of responses being either resolutely negative or openly hostile to Miss Swift. It soon became clear that the wider non Swifties world believes even Dorothy Explorers about her B asterisk TCH than Taylor. That is their prerogative, and for what's worth I can think of many women who might put Taylor Swift to that particular title, led by Malala Yousafzai who faced down the Taliban to fight for girls to be educated. But why the raging anger towards her? Well, look no further than Charlotte Silmer, self-styled genderqueer writer and former army vet. She tweeted a whole host of names from Beyonce and Katy Perry to Jennifer Lopez and Lady Gaga that she considering to be a badder B asterisk TCH than Taylor Swift. At the end, she said, and every other woman entertainer in popular music who used their platform to publicly support Hillary in 2016. Apostrophe. So, as with almost everything these days, it's about politics. Taylor Swift is being vilified at the altar of sanctimony, resentment, and blind hatred because of her political stance. Only here's the twist she doesn't actually have one. Or, rather, not one we know about. Taylor's apolitical, she doesn't engage in political debate at all, preferring to stick to singing about love and romance. This strikes me as extremely sensible given the current males from a febrile, toxic political warfare, particularly as she will have millions of right and left wing fans. Why anger a large chunk of them unnecessarily? During my anti-guns campaign at CNN, several male action movie stars pulled out of doing interviews with me because they didn't want to offend half their audience by expressing an opinion about gun control. They were movie stars, not elected officials. But by opting for the same stance, Taylor Swift is being demonized in a quite staggering manner, especially by other women. Marie Claire magazine was first out with the British cow report. We're still waiting for an explanation of Taylor Swift's decision to remain apolitical during the 2016 election. It tweeted recently. Fall 2016 saw a slew of celebrities get vocally and visibly involved in the political process, supporting candidates and encouraging their fans to get out and vote. After a period of complete silence about the election, Taylor did post on Instagram about the fact she was voting.
Taylor is not required to be open about her politics, of course, but it's also fair to question her decision to remain silent in what was a particularly contentious and consequential presidential battle. Whether she likes it or not, Taylor's politics, or her perceived political apathy, are a part of her reputation, and a song addressing, or at least acknowledging, that would have been impactful. Apostrophe The Guardian, Britain's supposedly most cerebral pro-feminism newspaper, followed suit with an even more outrageous attack. Taylor Swift, an envoy for Trump's values ran the headline on an editorial it published last week. The subhead is fanned. The world's biggest pop star is not simply a product of the age, but seems a messenger for a disturbing spirit. Apostrophe I read on, eager to see what evidence The Guardian had for such an extraordinary claim. Earlier this month, the American Civil Liberties Union admonished Taylor for demanding that a blogger retract an absurd post about her status among white supremacists. The blog, written by Megan Learning, was titled, Swiftly to the Old Right. Taylor subtly gets the lower case, KKK information. Does Taylor Swift us have to also denounce all ISIS terrorists and pedophiles now, or be automatically accused of supporting them? Herning even compared her to Adolf Hitler. This led to white supremacists lauding Taylor as an icon for their movement. Why ET? Why is that her fault? The blame, surely, lies with the idiot who did the Pinterest images in the first place. I don't get all this hatred for Taylor Swift, I really don't. She is the NO1 pop star in the world, and an incredibly talented singer-songwriter. Her new album Reputation is the biggest selling album of the year, shifting a monster one. Twenty-three million copies in its first week in the US alone. This destroying her nearest driver at Sheeran by over 300,000.
on the few occasions I've met her, she seemed a delightful lady, charming, down to earth and mature beyond her 27 years. It's time people backed off Taylor Swift and stopped this hideous hounding of a thoroughly decent young lady. 